You say, hey, what's up, guys? Because I always say, hey, what's up? No, I've changed my thing. Go. Sarah, what do I say? What? Remember my funny things? Oh, yeah. Hey, y'all, it's Shanna. And Tobin. From the 5M Family Homestead. Channel. <laughs> yeah, that's it. So today we're camping. We have been camping for the last three days. We're in the camper. There's a camper. Okay. There's Lake Texoma. Yes, that's where we're at. Oh, oh. Oh, okay. Um, anyway, so today we try to do some fun desserts when we're out camping. And one of the things that we're going to make is a chocolate cake in our Dutch oven. Uh, we have a cast iron Dutch oven. Um, I don't know how many quarts it is. Sorry, guys. Um, it's one of the larger ones. And we take it, we keep it in the camper. And over the last couple camping trips, we've perfected using the Dutch oven over hot coals. So today, what we're going to do is we're going to make a chocolate cake in the Dutch oven, and we thought we would show y'all the super simple steps and what the final product will look like. Yeah. Okay, first thing you're going to need, a box of Devil's Food chocolate cake, just the mix. We're not even going to follow the directions on the back. We're just going to do the box in a bowl, one can of Dr. Pepper, the whole can. Um, this is what you're going to use for your liquid to mix up your cake with. It can be a Sprite, root beer, whatever your preference is. We have a Dr. Pepper, so we're going to use a Dr. Pepper. Chocolate chips, we're going to put that in it because more chocolate is better. And these, these are liners, kind of like a crock pot liner, but for the Dutch oven. We got these at Walmart. Babe, how much were they? Do you know? Like six bucks. Six bucks. They're very well worth the price. They look so like a big cupcake thing. Little cupcake liner. You put it inside the Dutch oven, and then it just lines it so that way when you're done, you just pick it up and throw it in the trash. You still have to use um, cooking spray on this. Uh, very, very generously put cooking spray on it, otherwise your stuff's going to stick to it. So um, we're going to go ahead and get it mixed, and then I guess we'll get started and show you what it's going to look like over the fire. So we're going to show you the steps that we do. I do not have a bowl in this camper, so we're going to use a pot. It all is the same. It's going to taste the same. <clears throat> Then I'm going to pour the Dr. Pepper in there. Oh, that just sounded good. This is all the liquid that you're going to need. You don't need to add any more. And then you're just going to stir it. It's going to look like the consistency of what you would be doing when you added the ingredients on the back of the box. Then I'm going to add chocolate chips. The whole bag. I just decided to do the whole bag. You're gonna mix it up. Some people put marshmallows in here, little bitty marshmallows. Um, I'm not gonna do that. Not all of us like marshmallows, mainly Tobin and I, so I'm not gonna put them in there. Um, once it's all mixed up, it's time to go into the Dutch oven. We're outside at the Dutch oven. And what I've learned with these liners is if you lay it flat and then spray it with the cooking spray, it gets it more even. Because when it's in the Dutch oven and it's kind of all bunched up, you don't get an even spread of it. So I lay it out, spray it generously. And then, Put it in there and then you just pour your mix in there oops I don't have a spatula either oh my God. Well, we're camping so <laughs> yeah, we actually do have go ahead and even it out that way it cooks evenly. You're just going to kind of spread it out. 
All right, guys, so we switched places, so um, I usually handle the fire part of it while Shannon handles the cooking part of it. Uh, so this Dutch oven has been seasoned. Um, we cooked on it last night also. Uh, there's two rules of thumb that we follow when we're cooking on there. Normally about 20 to 25 coals uh, for about 45 minutes is like cooking in an oven. Um, another way that we were told is uh, each charcoal represents 25 degrees and you want about two thirds of them on the top and one third on the bottom roughly. Uh, so we have right here, we have our charcoal starter. Everyone buy one. If you don't have one of those, buy one. Get one. They're cheaper at Walmart. I think yep. I paid ten dollars so for it. About ten bucks. Yeah. And if you're cooking, even if you're not cooking with a Dutch oven, they're good to have just to, when you're cooking on the grill. They just get the charcoal going so much quicker and so much hotter. So um, this is ready to go. So we're gonna um, we're gonna put the charcoals on there and then give it time and it'll be ready to go. Yep. I recommend not wearing flip flops. Yes. But I'm wearing flip flops. So this is gonna be in the bottom. These little things, I don't know what they're called, but they come in really handy. Well, they're metal tongs. Yeah. But we didn't buy, these were, we found these somewhere. So we're gonna do about six or eight on the bottom. So if you do 25 times six, whatever that temperature, that's kind of what the temperature is gonna be on the bottom of the yeah, what would that be like? Dutch oven. Like 150 degrees ish if you put too many coals on the bottom it's gonna burn it yes that's one thing we learned we the first time we cooked biscuits in the dutch oven we put i i'm not kidding we put like 10 or 12 didn't we yeah and then we didn't do as many on top and it burnt to a crisp all right so that's the bottom we set it right on top yep and then we'll take this look how hot that is i know we're both wearing flip-flops. Yeah, not smart. But that's a disclaimer we said, don't do it. So y'all don't be commenting saying we shouldn't be wearing flip-flops because we understand the risk involved. There's probably 20 or so on top. Yeah, I'm taking a few off, but. They just need to be evenly spaced. So, 20 to 30 probably on there. Yeah. I'm guessing, I didn't count those, but uh, we'll check it probably in 20, 30 minutes. We're gonna cook the rest of the dinner while we're doing that. Uh, we cooked uh, peach cobbler in there last night, and it went a little slower mm -hmm. than we hoped, so I put a few more coals in there than we did last night, so we'll uh, check it here in a little bit and see what it looks like. That's what I was gonna say is that you can check it at like the 25, 30 minute mark. And if you don't feel like it's cooking, whoa, whoa, whoa. Was a, a he almost caught me on fire, y'all. Look, this is, he's maybe three feet from me right now. That's awesome. Okay, so what I was saying was that um, if you check it in about the 20, 30 minute mark and it doesn't, you don't feel like it's cooking, Add some more, one or two, maybe three on the bottom, and then maybe five, six, or seven on the top, and that'll get the heat going again. That's your best bet. Um, and then just watch it. But don't keep opening it, because then you're gonna lose all the heat, and it's not gonna cook. So. You see what Shannon's wearing? Hubba, <laughs> hubba. <laughs> oh my gosh. All right, we've been cooking for about 15 minutes. Now we're gonna test it. Ooh, it's getting pretty done. Yeah, I don't think it needs much longer. Oh no, that side's not done. The middle is, so we may need to move the coals. Yeah, there we go. Um, the cake is done. We cooked it for about 25 minutes. It cooked a whole lot faster than the peach cobbler last night, and I don't know why. But in well, we did we minutes, did put quite a bit more coals on there than we did last night. That's probably probably about true. 10 more than we did last time. So we probably did 20 to 25 on the top and we did about 10 on the bottom. And I think yeah. that at right about 25 minutes is what ended up um, it taking. And that is the finished product. That is... It smells fantastic. Campfire Dutch oven chocolate cake. 
we're gonna let you know that it's gonna be really good I can already tell you it smells amazing I also brought ice cream we have a freezer in our camper so I just bought a little pint size of bluebell because what other ice cream is there um, and we're gonna put that on top of the cake and it's gonna be delicious and that's gonna be a fun way to end our last night of camping yep. um, we hope you enjoy the video y'all subscribe like share our page and come along with us again on our next adventure It feels like your brownie heaven. <laughs>